Hey guys, Banished here, and um, a lot of people have been asking me on my PvP videos if they could see my spec and all that shazam, so I decided to um, make a quick video about it. I've been making videos quite a lot this week, uh, I've been feeling ill, I swear I've caught some sort of uh, bug or something, but anyway, I thought I'd give you my PvP spec, and that's actually quite more, it's a bit more difficult than I previously thought, considering I have three specs actually, and um, these specs pretty much depend on the week that I'm playing, because every Wednesday, which uh, for some reason is the day that my talent spec, respec, cost resets, not on a Tuesday, for some reason it only resets on a Wednesday, um, I respect any one of these three. Um, the last one, not so much, um, I've only tried it about once. Uh, but the other ones I definitely alternate through quite a bit and um, so yeah. So the first one is a uh, very high imbalance um, for hybrid spec and uh, you go through the same normal hybrid route which is getting Will of the Jedi to increase your willpower, empowered throw, um, not that, I believe that's uh, increased critical strike of, cr critical strike chance of uh, telekinetic throw and disturbance by 10%. For some reason, there's a bug on Torhead that, for some reason, bugs out that talent and makes it think it's an assassin. Uh, upheaval for your project, which project again is a pretty, um, pretty decent burst considering it's an insta cast and only has a six second cooldown. So, still, I reckon it's pretty worth it to get that. Um, telekinetic balance, obviously. Uh, psychic barrier. I get this for the uh, reduced in pushback suffered. Um, if you're trying to kill a warrior and you have no kiting abilities left, I suppose it's still good. Uh, you could, I suppose, replace it for focused will or Jedi resistance, but those are just the effects that they give are not good enough for me to care, really. 1% uh, of your total health for a crit with your carry attacks. If I've got 15,000 health at the moment um, in pretty, well, in medium gear, I'd say, that is 150. 150 per crit. It's not insane healing. It's decent healing, but it's not something that's going to keep me up too long in a fight. So I'm just going to go for Psychic Barrier just because of that. And um, it helps keep my force relatively high. Uh, it doesn't seem like that much of a problem in PvP though, but still. Uh, then obviously Presence of Mind for the Insta cast, uh, Containment for your Force Lift Insta, and the Stun afterwards. Um, mind Ward to reduce the damage of all periodic effects. This is good against uh, gunslingers if you're on Republic side or snipers, um, operatives, nope, snipers uh, if you're on the Imperials. Um, and just good against other sages I suppose because it's really good against uh, those periodic damage effects. Uh, next you want to go for Force Oppression which uh, basically when you use Force in balance your targets will your targets will or targets will take tw uh, twenty percent more damage from your dots. Um, increase uh, damage dealt by weaker mind. Increase duration of mind crush. Uh, and then finally, mental scarring, which increases the crit damage bonus of force imbalance. So and your period effects. So this isn't crit chance. This is crit bonus damage. So this is potentially um, surge rating right here. This is thirty percent surge rating added on to your force imbalance and your period effects, which is basically the things that are going to crit the most and this is because you are going hybrid so you want to go get um, three in clamoring force to increase your uh, mind crush and telekinetic wave damage by just that little bit uh, mental longevity to increase your total force um, inner strength to reduce your force cost this is so uh, you don't run out too much force and there's not much particularly better um, up on the second tier you want to go for uh, telekinetic defense, which increases the amount absorbed by your force armor by 20%. I reckon this one's uh, superior to Disturbed Mind. Uh, the duration of Weakened Mind increased by 3 seconds. It's not really that needed in PvP due to the fact that once I fully get my burst down on someone, um, as in have uh, Weakened Mind, Mind Crush, while spamming Telekinetic Throw, Telekinetic Wave when it's off cooldown, Force Imbalance as well. They're not going to survive that long. That I'm going to need that those extra seconds on weak in mind. Uh, so next we go up to the third tier. We can get a telekinetic wave, obviously for the insta cast uh, palm when mind crush is on cooldown, and psychic protection, um, which is when your mind crush 
uh, mind crush. We can mind critical hits. Uh, your telekinetic throw will be half the cast, uh, half the channel time, and uh, this in twine with mental scarring means that your weakened mind crits are also going to do quite a bit more damage as well. Uh, so this is yeah the first spec. Uh, no points in seer at the moment for this spec, uh, simply because there's just too many good points to put in balance and telekinetics that it doesn't seem worthwhile. For example, if I had um, randomly spare five more points I would go put them into telekinetics uh, if I had like ten more points I'd still probably put most of those in balance and telekinetics um, instead of putting it into seer because the bonus from seer just isn't that great uh, next build I've got is this one it's a uh, 17 24 the last one was a uh, 28 13 so 24 17 so more into tele telekinetics this time um, same normal last build uh, if you guys are subscribed to my channel or watch me regularly you will recognize this build and this is because this is actually my um, raiding build now this may sound a little bit strange like um, why are you showing us your raiding build uh, because it's it seems to do well in PvP and that's basically what I use for PvP in a lot of my videos and uh, the reason why is because it's exactly the same as the previous spec the only difference is I've taken out mental scarring which uh, increases the critical bonus of your periodic and force and balance but I've gained force wake which um, whenever you use your knockback ability which is uh, force wave uh, you have a hundred percent a hundred percent percent chance to um, immobilize your targets for five seconds and yeah that's pretty insane especially to fuck up some warriors that are jumping on you to fuck up some um, agents some sins just to see their face when they're sitting there and they can't actually move for ages it's quite funny um, and then you get telekinetic confusion which is obviously the spec that I choose for PvP PvE because it gives me the greatest force regeneration uh, out there for the whole of DPS sage and that's what I need against the boss but also the reduced cooldown on force speed by 10 seconds that's a third of the cooldown has been knocked off force speed now force speed is potentially one of our greatest survivability tools in this game if used correctly so reducing the cooldown on that definitely helps there's been times in fights where I've been able to use force speed three or uh, two or three times just to get away from people or just to catch up to people it's just the mobility I suppose with this spec is the thing that I love and the reason that's the reason why I mainly PvP with this spec also the reset cost doesn't cost me as much because I'm not that rich in Swatol. And the final build, which I'm still experimenting with, um, same build again, uh, except for this time in balance, we don't get mental scarring, we don't get assertion, well, one point in assertion, we don't get uh, two points in drain thought, um, we simply only get force suppression to increase our dots. We go for the same thing with telekinetics, where we get um, the same high red sort of spec. However, that leaves us with seven points, and we go and put those seven points into seer so this is a uh, 7 13 21 spec as weird as that sounds um and we go into a mutable force which uh, is actually i really love this talent i sort of wish on um previous uh specs such as my pvp my pve one or uh this one that's mainly about pure burst i really wish i had two points left over that i could just put them in immutable force uh, to reduce the activation time of uh, deliverance because it's it's an insane heal and if you can get that off in pvp it's it's absolutely insane uh, knocking 0.5 seconds off of that heal again it, it's just just gives incredible effects um then increase the force critical chance by three percent it's great for your dots you can get um psychic projection more uh it's good for pretty much all of your abilities if they crit because they do masses of damage and finally psychic suffusion which increases the damage and healing of area effectively, you don't have one, abilities by 10%. So that means force imbalance, the damage of that is increased by 10%. And I see a lot of sages uh, going for this build. So they increase the damage of one force imbalance and two telekinetic wave. Uh, just, I suppose this is more of a bursty sort of spec and it, it does seem pretty good. Um, still, I would say I'd have to go with one of the other two specs. Um, if you're if you do watch my PvP videos and you do want to know what spec I'm playing on them, 
most likely I'm going to be playing the middle one, which is the 2417, my PvE spec. Um, sometimes I may be playing this other 2813, but you're most likely never going to see me playing the 2137 spec, uh, just because it's it, it's all right, but I don't feel it's worth sort of wasting seven points in Seer uh, that could be put into greater effect in either telekinetics or balance. Um, so yeah, that's my PvP spec. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.